agree uh, certainly to that, that uh, history should not simply record that the first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong, period. kind of record of losing those uh, film and camera magazines in space. Don't want to leave any on the moon. Leave the cameras, but not the pictures they took. Nothing worse than a terrible disappointment getting home from the holiday and vacation and finding you didn't get pictures of the kids with you know, Uncle Ed, or Superman, or whoever. <laughs> getting around with the ladder. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard from Aldrin since he's been up there in the land, have we? Well, I heard one thing about how are you doing, Buzz, and he said, okay, you're fine. Yeah. But that's about all I've heard since he ascended. standing back there to pull it taut. Transferring the sample containers into the limb cabin now. Uh-oh. Camera came off. I mean, the still that came off. What came off? Makes it a film pack. Oh. Probably just slid off the okay. retention okay. device. In this case, it won't float off into space. It'll be there somewhere. Yeah. Up 
strong sound like it's Neil, pretty, pretty hard. Neil, this is Houston. Uh, request an EMU check over. a slight change. He went from uh, minimum flow to M or medium. Uh, I, I wouldn't say he's working hard. He's, he's obviously there's this effort involved here. He's getting his exercise this day at least. These fellows will be pretty tired, I imagine, when they get back in that lunar module and they'll be ready for rest, even in the rather uncomfortable confines of the lunar module itself, uh, where they don't have real bunks to lie down in, or real couches even to lie down as in the command module, but are in kind of a reclining, half-sitting position against a sort of a, a uh, backrest arrangement to yes. recline against, a little nutting sort of thing. I remember after uh, Tom Stafford and I completed the Gemini 6 rendezvous and we started stowing things and getting the it all Lick put Observatory away. The Observatory in California reports a return on the laser experiment. By golly. That's great. So far, everything's a success. Everything worked. After we had uh, sort of restowed the spacecraft and got over the emotional up feeling, we slept like babies. We were really tired. For your information, your consumables remain in good shape. what he said was happening to him. Looks like down here. You think the word was soot? Like the, the dust looks like a carbon powder? I think so. Watch that, Neil. He said he thinks his watch stopped. <laughs> Little gentle hint that he better get up that ladder. He's got to get the equipment back, uh, that is the rock samples back oh, aboard, the camera magazine. You see it being transported up. Yeah, you can Stand by a minute. Let me move back. Tighten up that LEC. Like tightening up the clothesline. Put a weight on it. It sags, of course. Mm -hmm. Even in one six gravity. That's still kind of a funny jury rig to get Clifford back up there with all his expenses. Okay, easy. It is that. you were laying down, if you were standing yeah, up. Yeah, I was on the floor. It's 40 minutes on the PLSSs. I suspect as a result of this would be a change in that technique, too. These are all uh, thoughts that sound like the best idea at the time, and it takes experience to uh, mature. Okay, it's on up.
just thinking tomorrow is supposed to be a day off for most everybody. I think they'll sleep yes. rather than watch the uh, EVA as it was planned. Hey, Mr. Pearson, did you get the Asshole Magazine? There he goes. Look at that leap. He went up a couple wow. of steps in the one leap. And we got about, uh, I'd say, 20 pounds of uh, carefully selected if not documented samples. And 13 minutes on the moon surface. Our prediction about that contingency sample was quite right. again, touching the vehicle, grounding it out. Mm -hmm. Just think, this is the first time I've seen a Late Late Show this long without a commercial. I'm impressed. <laughs> Now. So we've got to go through this twice before they're really home free with yes. the pressurization. 